Hey girls, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a very exciting video. I'm going to be reviewing the Tory Burch Miller sandals and I'm also going to be talking about the wear and tear on these. Um, I did purchase these about nine months ago and I have the video where like I unboxed it and like my reaction to it. So I'll go ahead and link that video down below. So we're going to go ahead and talk about the sizing as well for these sandals because there are a lot of things and like people saying that these run pretty small. Not going to lie, that is very, very true. I did try on my true size, which I am like a true like seven and a half in literally all my shoes and so for these I did have to have size up and so wow salty <laughs> I had to get these in a size 8 as you can see I purchased my Miller sandals at Nordstrom in store I did not go to my nearest Tory Burch because that one was an hour away but they recently made one that's really really close to me now so I actually keep all my shoe boxes that's the way I like to keep my shoes just because it takes care of them and I know they're gonna be good for quite some time so this is how I store my shoes I actually kept the stuffing that came with them to keep the sandal up high and like not droopy so this is how mine's look like so we're gonna take the stuffing out and one thing I noticed not so long ago is that they actually crease do you see that crease right there they crease the other one creasing and it also does have some fading which I don't understand why I try, I try not to wear these sandals when that it's like raining or when I know I'm going to be like out walking a lot just for like casual like shopping or something like that. Um, that's when I most likely wear these. I do try being really careful when walking with them. But as you can see the front of it, it looks really really good like there's no scraping. The heel part as you can see it has been somewhat worn especially this one. Um, overall these are really really comfortable compared to a lot of my cheap sandals I have some sandals from like Forever 21 and Agassi and those are like cardboard flat and those really really hurt my feet these have somewhat of like a patent leather to them so that's why they're like really really comfortable to walk in at least for me um, the only bad thing is though at first when you start like wearing them this right here does hurt your feet a lot at least for me just because I don't really have sandals that have this type I usually wear ones with like straps for for me that was really really painful and I had to wear them a couple of times for me to get adjusted to them so that was the only bad thing overall they're really really comfortable I love how secure they are especially with these little like pin tack things I love the whole emblem of the Tory Burch Miller sandal I think they give it a really nice classy and like elegant yet chic look to them also, when you buy the shoes, you do get a dust bag, which is very nice. It does have the little Tory Burch kind of logo going and the whole little keychain emblem on there. I have not taken it out because I have not used this actually since I have not traveled ever since I bought these sandals. These sandals do retail for 200 US dollars, which is a crazy amount of money for just like simple little sandals. Are they worth it? I don't really think so. I am pretty sure that you can find similar comfortable style sandals anywhere like at Dillard's or DSW for like 50, 60 bucks. Like there is no need to spend $200 on sandals. I do believe so that they are just like $200 for the name brand. You're pretty much just paying for the emblem to be like, oh look, she has Tory Burch sandals. You know, that type of thing. Um, I definitely want to get the black and the nude, but for now, like, I'm just going to wait on them. Um, it's, like, something, like, far out on my wish list, but I'm really, really happy that I chose this brown color because it's, like, a natural, yet still it matches with a whole bunch of things. Like, I really tried taking care of them, especially because they're, like, really pricey, so that's why I like to keep them, you know, nice and stuffed i do not wear these out in the rain because i have heard that if you get like rain spots on them it does make the leather darker i obviously have not tried that i'm not planning on trying that simply because i'm not gonna risk it you know what i mean so yeah if you have the money if you really want them if you've been thinking a lot about them and you just want to go ahead and do it then go ahead you know no one's stopping you um for me the way i buy things that are expensive i like to think about them a lot i like to give it some time months sometimes even years i think about it for a long time and then i come up with outfits if it just keeps staying in my head then obviously i buy them so that was the only reason why i bought these it's not like i saw them want them buy them you know i like to be pretty cautious with the things i like to buy especially if they are pricey so again mine's in the color vintage vachetta 
size 8. Again, go half size up. I want to get the shoes a little bit less uh, than $200. You, I might suggest for you to check out the Tory Burch website. I believe when you first sign up on the website, you do get 10 or 15% off your purchase. I don't know if they do include free shipping, so check out on that. So yeah, overall, this is my review for the Tory Burch Miller Sandal. I'm really, really happy I have them. I can, I'm just like so happy, like you do not understand. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, because we're almost at a thousand subscribers. Like that is just crazy. Like thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel. I never really say anything. Um, Cause it just feels like, I don't know, it's weird, but like people actually watch me. Like that's freaking insane. Like. Wow, like thank you guys so much for all the support, all the comments, the likes, and just watching my videos overall. So yeah, with all that being said, I'll talk to you girls next time. So yeah, bye.